Yeah, I'm in my ghoul shirt on. It's Scarpino. It's Ohio horror legend. Celebrate his 25th anniversary at Monster Bash 2011. So now it's 26 years. Let's do it here. So undoubtedly, it's Cinema Wasteland this month, coming up in a few weeks. Uh, Son of Ghoul will be celebrating. Son of Ghoul will be celebrating his 26th year anniversary of being on the air out there in Cleveland, Ohio, Northeast Ohio horror legend. With his pal, Neil the Eel McNeil. I, I, don't, I don't think he's on his show. He might have been a guest. But Neil the Eel McNeil is also an Ohio horror legend. Okay. And so is Jim Schwartz because he's the George Stover of the stage. Because he uh, was in my movie, Werewolf and the Witch and Miss Werewolf. And Devil Ant, Devil Ant 2. Okay, here we go. He's from Sebring, Sebring Ohio. That's out where that uh, Bigfoot researcher is. Uh, that uh, I forget his name. Okay. Anyway, okay, here we go. We're going to film myself, give myself my last shot. My last shot. And I'm going to do this for Son of Ghoul. Where's my little rag here? Wipe off my belly. Wipe it off. Hang off that area. Take out the needle. Discard it. Okay. Squeeze that fatty part. Uh. I got a good stomach. I do my leg lifts and ra leg raises and my vacuums, I call them, where I hold it for like 30 seconds, rest 30 seconds, hold it for 30 seconds, relax 30 seconds, hold it for another 30 seconds. I'm tightening my stomach, holding my breath. I did that three times last night. I do it like a couple times a week. Tightens up my abs, man. <laughs> okay. I did it. Remember, I did 80 sit-ups in two minutes in the Marines. I scored a perfect 100 points, 80 sit-ups in two minutes. The most sit-ups I ever did, I think, was 120 in two minutes. My late brother Keith did 125 sit-ups in two minutes, and he once held the school record sit-ups at Maine South High School. But somebody beat him, they did 128. But uh, anyways, okay, we're physically fit, us Nelsons, we're tough. Just like my dad, he was in the Army, I was in the Marines. My late brother Keith talked me into joining the Marines. Okay, I'm doing this for the Marines too. Oorah for the Marines. They didn't call me Corporal Oorah for nothing. I was then, and I still am, a highly motivated, hard-charging Marine. Just like I was fighting Fox Company, Battalion 28, Camp Geiger, North Carolina. 8th Mardim, 2nd Battalion. From 77, 77 to 7, 78 to 1980, I was over there. I was in the Marine Corps from 76 to 80, and I was in Subic Bay, Philippines, with my pal William Bowie Gould, and I boxed on Subic Bay Box, the Subic Bay Boxing Team in Subic Bay, Philippines, over at QB. And uh, I was stationed at QB Point back then, B Company, Mar Marine Barracks, Marine Barracks, with my pal William Bowie Gould, fellow Chicago Golden Gloves boxer. He was the champ in '74, welterweight champ. And I'm about to say, but anyway, I'm gonna do this for the Corps, the Marine Corps. Oorah! Okay, here we go. Urgh. And for Son of Gold, for Son of Gold. You can show this on your show, Son of Gold. Me sticking myself right there. Uh, uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put that top back on and discard that. And where's that rag? Wipe the blood. See, there's a little dab of blood there. There's a little dab of blood there, yeah. I thought, there was blood everywhere. Like, you know, what's his name said in his first movie? You know. There was blood everywhere, you know, in Cutting Class. That was What's-His-Face's first movie. Uh, oh, I forget his name. Guy lives out in Hollywood. The guy who married, uh... He just got divorced recently. Why would I... Okay. You know who I'm talking about. He was in Cutting Class. There was blood... Okay. Okay, cut. I gotta go go to the VA. I gotta get, get my blood test. Gotta have some nice hot job. Here we go. Ah! It's good job. Okay, I'll see ya.